Good afternoon, ladies and gents. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, Dan here, and Nugget and his little pig. There you go. Um, today I'm going to do a video on the tent by Gin. Um, I believe it's the only one of its kind around. It's um, it's a tent for paramotors. So when you're out flying, you do some cross country action. You can land. You can set up this tent. It'll protect your paramotor and it'll give you a separate place to um, to camp out. For the evening and then um then obviously you can take off again the next day and and keep doing what you're doing um so here's the box i got it from clive mason so cm paramotors that's charlie mike paramotors um i've dealt with clive quite a lot he's a he's a really cool guy he's a stand-up guy um i've never dealt with anyone who's got such good such good um customer service fantastic bloke if i ever if i ever have an issue with delivery or whatever he's he's on the phone straight away and it gets it gets it sorted imminently which is great um i think it's gone through uk air sports because it said it said it on there i have had a few things from uk air sports as well and they're normally really good so um here we go here it is there is two in here it feels quite heavy straight off the bat okay so we've got one we've got a little oh we've got two little wind socks little key rings those um i've got a few of these i don't really know what to do with them but it's it's a freebie everyone loves a freebie don't they um got a gin sticker it's a lengthy one got another gin sticker got another tent and then nothing else in the box okay so i'm going to put, put one tent away i'll get rid of these for now i'm just going to go over the other tent all right so move that there we go okay puppy you're a good boy so here it is first thoughts guys is it's heavier than i thought it was um it's about 1.1 1.2 kilos so weight 1.2 kilos um dimensions is 415 by 175 centimeters okay and it was designed by nicholas i'm not going to embarrass myself by saying his last name but it looks like burger um so let's get it out and have a little goose so material straight away it's like a um it's a lightweight rip stop okay with some sort of some sort of coating on it so let's get her out so it's the first time i've seen it so you've got your original little bag here okay quite quite cool you know it's got a little picture on it nothing to write home about let's be honest um we've got some destructions so it says the size it says discover freedom yada yada um and it shows you how to set it up okay i am going to need those because i'm really not good at setting up tents um i'm just going to sit down so straight away we've got this strap what's holding it all together we'll take that off one lengthy strap i'm not sure whether we're going to need that right and then we've got a bag of um so we've got a bag of pegs okay we've got some sort of poles in there so we'll have a look at the pegs first okay i'll do this really quick then i'll um, then i'll get it built don't want to bore people too much if nugget starts doing bad things to that pig then i apologize um dogs are like their owners <laughs> so in this one in this first bag we've got a load of pegs i don't know if you can see that we've got gold ones and we've got silver ones okay so silver ones right thin things then gold ones square things okay i've got to say guys straight off the bat the um not so much the silver ones they're standard but the gold ones the um the machining is brilliant they look very very well made but then how well made can a peg be i guess it works or it doesn't um we've got one two three guide ropes okay so three guide ropes with a little black bit on the end which is obviously to tighten the, the tension cool beans i'll put that back in there da -da 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 -da. so that's that okay so that's the so we've got the strap we've got the pegs and guy ropes you okay puppy um in the next bag then we've got okay so this is more tent styling now okay so we've got some bars like you normally get with with elastic in them and they all pop together okay that's all it is okay they look really again they look really well made i feel like everyone says that but they actually do it's not it's not like a tent you get from from argos for 20 quid i mean it shouldn't be it's nearly 300 pound 
but um, it's actually re it is really well made. And there's that little pivot in the middle. I'll show you this all up close later on, okay? So it's got elastic in it, so you can just disband it and get it get it away. Okay, so that's that. Okay, what else have we got in here? There is something else. It looks like an antenna, like a military styly antenna. Um, but what it is, is it's just some perspexy Teflon styly plastic rod. Um, I assume that'll be towards the feet just for the airflow to pass through the tent. But we'll have a look at that in more depth when I actually build it. Okay, so there are the two main bags. Shove this in here. Whilst I'm doing this, whilst I'm trying to ram this back in, uh, one thing I will say I noticed is when it's when it when I got it out of the bag, then it's quite big in terms of it's like a big roll. It's like a sleeping bag. Um, what I suggest is unrolling it and folding it so it's not a circle; it's more of a flat square. And then you could put it under the seat in the um, in in the paramotor, so it'll have a nice little home. Then, but I'll try that. I'll show you that later on. Okay. So next, we've got. The sheet looks like the fly sheet the over the over the top sheet okay again i'll show you this a little bit closer when i build it okay so that's the main the main sheet or the top sheet okay and then we've got another one which is what's this one let's have a goose I told you i won't go to tents guys i'm just doing it as i go along with you so you can see what i see and um you don't get bamboozled by all this bollocks of how great everything is if it's not um, I've got a habit on, I've got a habit, I've got um, got an opinion, everyone's got one, but um, I find on social media and on YouTube, if people get stuff given to them especially, they'll um, they'll say how great it is, even if it's a bag of crap and they never use it again. Um, I did buy this, so um, I've got no loyalties, if it's crap I'm going to let you know it's crap and to save you money, okay? So, the next sheet, so that, that's the compartment what you're going to sleep in basically, so you've got, you've got a little compartment for you, you've got your paramotor above your head, and then you've got a sheet what goes over everything okay so you'll see that but that's the other sheet mega mega lightweight that that's 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 like reserved material um that's brilliant um okay so that's that so that's what you get in the kit okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and build it i'm going to time lapse it because you don't want to listen to me banging on and swearing so i can't flip and do it um nugget's really enjoying that pig so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get on with it okay what i should have said is these work on all paramotors basically it'll it'll hang off this frame here but you can adjust the size of it so um you can it doesn't have to be a, a parajet maverick it can be it can be anything um it'll fit okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and build a bloody thing so um stand by Have a slight break there guys i'm losing my shit with this um it is the first time i've had it out of the packet trying to build it but surely there's something easier than this um like i said it's probably because i'm new to new to it i'm not the best at building tents anyway but i've already tipped the pyromotor over it's got fuel on it winner um just not to my dog's even getting stressed out look so um yeah current state of play I want to set fire to it but let's keep going let's um let's see how we get on so stand by three days later right guys so I've had a I've had a brew nuggets had some water there he is um I don't know why we live in a world where you'd need a bloody master's degree to build this tent um you can get tents now where you throw them and they bloody pop up let alone one what's this difficult but it might just be me being a bit special so i'm gonna i'm gonna build it i'm not gonna film it and once i've figured out what's going on ish i'll um i'll start recording and we'll go through it properly um that's it and in the meantime nugget's gonna sunbathe stand by right troops i finally got most of it up um i did bodge some of it to be honest um so it isn't the most formal tent the concept behind it's really good 
So, so the concept is, obviously you get clean air passing up here, they'll go into these little mesh bits. There's another mesh bit here going down, so that'll stop any bugs and any crap, I assume. So two mesh bits, air passes up, it goes up either side of the tent, and it passes out at a vent at the top left. Um, and then inside here, the individual or myself is encased in a separate tent. So this, this over sheet acts as a, as a wind deflector to get rid of fumes and it acts as a, a rain stopper for me. So I'll show you that. Then I'm gonna go over a few gripes I've got. Um, so again, it is, it's an expensive tent. It's an expensive piece of kit. So you're knocking on the door like 300 pound. Um, yeah, so anyway, like I said, you've got the air passes through those, goes up around on the inside, and then it comes out. So it goes up and around, and it comes out, I'll show you. Okay, so that's why it's a funny shape. It's just to help assist in airflow. The paramotor's there. Okay, so the air is coming in from... So down there, so you've got air channels here. This is an air channel. Okay, same on the opposite side. Okay, so it'll go around the motor and it'll come out, allegedly, come out here. Okay, so that's all that is. Okay, so the air can come out there. There's not one on that side, there is only one. I'm not sure why, but there's one. I sleep in there. Um, big enough for one person. Yeah, absolutely, not loads of space, but it'll, it'll do. Um, this material is super, super, super light. You don't get much lighter than that at all um it's just the same material as your as your reserves your lightweight reserves um got a little vent there or a window whatever you want to call it but i don't understand what the point of that is if you're going to have fumes passing because surely you're just going to gash yourself out but i'll try that at a later date and let you know um if the video goes on for hours and i'm unconscious for most of it you know it's a bad idea so again there you go down there you can see the um the air inlets so that's that's it, then my motor, obviously the ring of the motor's there. Um, right, the gripes. I have got a few gripes with it, to be honest. The, the concept is bloody brilliant. So Mr. Berger, fantastic concept, great, well done. Practicality of how difficult it is to set up is ridiculous. Um, so I'm just gonna put the camera back down, give me one second. Right, so my main gripe, the first gripe I've got is, you get a new piece of kit, you're like, oh, just follow the instructions. Okay, fair enough. The instructions might might as well be in Arabic or some fucking Japanese dodgy language. Um, useless, absolutely useless. I'm going to show you. They're the instructions you get to follow. Okay, not the most helpful when you've got a funky shaped tent. Okay, so the um, the instructions are not great in the slightest. Um, there seems to be like a few. A few bits you need to do, do the rest of it, then go back to it. Um, this being one of them, the um, the gold, the golden ring, yeah, which I showed you previously. Again, some parts of it are so well made, very, very well made. Um, I'm stuck in a rock and a hard place in recommending it. Um, is it well made? Yes, absolutely. Bloody good idea. The machining of the stuff's great. The pegs are great. Um, it looks good. It look, it looks good. Um, so that side of me is like, yeah, get one, it's cool. Do a cross-country flight, land, have a barbecue, fly off again. Just take a little satchel on your, on your chest. Um, the other part of me is, it shouldn't be this difficult to put up a tent. I know there's loads of videos on here saying how easy it is. No, it's, it's fluid and it's easy to do. And sure it is once you've done it 50 times. But the first 10 times, you're going to lose your temper. You're going to roll your paramotor over, get fuel everywhere, all that crap. Um, so that side of me doesn't want to recommend it. Um, 300 quid, 280 quid, 240 quid, depending on who you get it from. See Clive. Um, I don't know, I'm stuck. The other, the other gripe I've got is you've got, you've got two different types of pegs. You've got the pegs which are the gold ones with little hooks on the end, and then you've got the silver flat ones. Nowhere does it say which pegs are for what. It just doesn't. You've got two of one, and the rest are different. Um, unless it's me being stupid, that might be the case. If I am being stupid, guys, comment down below. Let me know. I do need educating as well. Um, so, looks, concept, 10 out of 10. Brilliant. Weight, 8 out of 10. Could they make it lighter? I don't think so. 
but for the sake of 1.2, 1.4 kilos, whatever it was, it's easier to get a couple of tarps from Go Outdoors or from one of your military surplus stores, some bungees and 10 pegs. You'll save 200 quid and um, it's more compact, lighter, and it saves some cash. So that's that. That's that option. But if you want the cool kit, you want the latest gadgets, then why not treat yourself, get one. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to do a flight soon and I'll, um, I'll put it inside the paramotor. I'll see if it fits in the, um, in the arse seat and whatever else. Um, and we'll look at the practicality of it that way. But, but yeah, I'm genuinely torn. Part of me wants to say it looks cool. It looks like something from God knows when, some Starship stuff. But the other side of me thinks the instructions are crap. It's too hard to put up, don't bother. So I'm going to let you decide on this one. Um, it is to be continued, I'm afraid. I'm going to take it down. Well, I'm going to let it air out, actually, because I spilled petrol on it. It's got a, a gazelle flying over, as you do. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. So stand by, wait for another video on this, guys. It'll be a week or two, and I'll have a definitive answer. If you're considering getting one, Set. Okay, you good boy. You good boy. If, um, if you're considering getting one, guys, just just think long and hard about it. There is loads of videos on YouTube of these. Just be skeptical about everyone saying that they're absolutely brilliant. And there's not wrong with them. I don't think that's that's normal life, is it? There's always something wrong with something, or it's me being Carl Pilkington. I'm sure the YouTube world will soon let me know if I'm just being miserable. But yeah, looks good, feels good, very well made. Positives, negatives, expensive, instructions are shit, um, and it's a bit of a nose to put up. The nose to put up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a couple of dry runs of doing it, and then um, on my part two of this video, hopefully I'll say it's brilliant, it's the best thing ever, but as it currently stands, stand by on that one. Um, that's it. Cool, guys, thanks for watching. If you're still here, I feel sorry for you. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see it's all I've got. I'm going to go and set fire to this. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye.